guys all right so today we're actually going to be working on the miata the uh left side i've already done i did this at night i didn't record it or anything like that because i just want to get it done and it was cold um so on the uh past vlog you saw that the suspension was busted so what i'm going to do now is put in the rear suspension and take out the conies i have to send these back to jeff wong at pro parts out in california so I'm going to have to take out the right side, which works fine, and also put in, um, put in the stock ones over here, and then ship both the bad and the good one out so they can do some tests and checks and make sure that the whole rear is good. So what I'm doing right now is uh, just taking it apart, so um, just walking you through this real quick. So to take off the rear suspension, you need to take off the clips. I already got started. We take off all the clips in the rear uh, for the plastic piece so you have access to the back suspect um, to the top um, hat of the suspension all you need is a 14 millimeter socket set the right side there's no obstruction but the left side you can see this metal it actually goes all the way across uh, and it actually impedes uh, your um, your way to the top hat on the left side so what you have to do on that one you still need a 14 mil but um, if you have big hands or big arms it's going to be a little bit pain in the butt because the gas tank is over on this side so that's actually a shielding for the gas tank okay this side just comes off it's just two nuts um i just put everything over on this side so it's two nuts that just comes off of that guy you can just remove those two then let's see if we can get the camera down here Ugh. Down on this side, you're going to see that it. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter socket that you're going to need to take off the bolt out of uh, the hub assembly, or the knuckle I should say, and then this guy is just going to come off. Um, I took off the end link and I'm actually going to end up taking off one of the arms. Let's go around. So already, oh, let's focus here. So I already took off the end link, so that way I can have some space for when I'm putting in the stock <coughs> suspension. And then I'm also going to take this guy off, which I, I think it was a 19, um, and you just take off the bolt over on this side. And I'm going to take this, not off completely, I'm just going to disconnect it here and then just drop it down so that way I have some space. So that's how that's pretty much going to work. Um, the last thing on the suspension, once you get it off, there's one more bolt right there. I think it's this guy right here yeah, yeah, that you're going to have to take off. So once you take off this bolt, um, I, you know, I'm going to take off all the other bolts first, the two top ones, this one over here, uh, connecting to the knuckle, and then lastly I'll take off this guy so as I'm taking it off I can hold the suspension and uh, just drop it out. Alright, so we'll get back. All right, so the suspension is out right now. As you can see, this is what I uh, disconnected. So that way I have enough space, nice open space right here to take out the suspension. And not really so much for so for the coilovers, but it's really for the stock suspension, which the size is just a lot bigger. Uh, this is the bolt. As you can see, it does have uh, um, some salt damage to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff this stuff off and then go ahead and put some anti-seize on it um, to help prevent some of the stuff. You can see some of the damage already in there due to salt and so forth so I'm gonna try and clean all that up so that way it doesn't affect it in the long run um, and uh, yeah just go ahead and push this guy off to the side and we're good this is takes a 17 millimeter to take this guy off and it was a 12 millimeter to take off the uh, screw that um, goes to the bottom of the suspension here so this is the top hat and then at the bottom of the top hat, that hole right there is where the 12 mil goes in and it actually holds it to the body. Actually very nice design because you can drop the top and then hurry up and put in that, um, hold it in place with that one screw. All right, so we're gonna dismantle this guy and um, put together the uh, stock suspension. All right, so we're gonna be uh, dismantling the top hat here. Uh, what we're gonna need is a uh, 18 to take off the top nut 
and then it's a 19 to get down to the other guy here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and take these guys off. No, no, no. All right, so that's my 19, that's my 18. I'm just gonna put these over to the side and I actually just um, make sure, since I'm videotaping this, I already know the order that these go on. So this is for the top. Uh, then I got my hat. It just comes right off, okay, as you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Now the uh, next piece that comes off, the next piece that comes off has a little spacer here. So that spacer, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this guy over there and then this guy comes off so these actually go together so that way we have um, that assembly okay so you're just gonna put that guy over to the side and uh, we are uh, pretty much done so this is the coilover setup um, I most likely will be selling these after they are rebuilt I'll post up some sizes later. Uh, the suspension worked. It's just that I did like the Olins better anyway. Personally, I just wanted those and because uh, I know that they worked exactly how I wanted them to. Uh, this one actually worked while you know I drove the car. Nothing's really wrong with them. But um, I do like the design of the Olins a little bit better. That's all. So th these will be on sale once they're rebuilt. Um, so keep posted on that one. Alright guys, so now we have the stock suspension assembly, so this is the uh, Bilstein shock and then this is the spring, so I'm just going to go ahead and align the spring onto the uh, little perch here. The pieces that I have is this particular washer that's going to go ahead and go on the uh, and hold the top hat down. The one piece that we took off of the other suspension um, is going to be one of these bushings here. It looks like a little worn down, but uh, oh well. So once you put this guy on, it's just going to um, guide at the stem here and hold the hat in place. So the hat is just going to go ahead and be placed on. Um, just go ahead and get that guy fed through. Yeah. Yep. Voila. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get one of the caps here. I have to put on. And this goes this way. And then I'm just going to put the net on and go ahead and tighten that guy up. Alright, so here we go. This is the suspension put together right now. That's with the little metal piece and the bolt. Uh, you already have this seated in place on the top hat as far as the spring and the perch. And that is your assembly. Now, this is a quick comparison between the uh, stock and the uh, inverted, um, the inverted coney. So you can see as far as the size here, that uh, these guys, the reason why I had to remove that, uh, this guy right here, was um, for the simple fact that the springs are so much wider. So these springs aren't that wide, where they're two and a half inches or something like that, um, versus the stock um, spring, uh, tapered spring, and trying to fit that all in there is a pain in the ass. It just keeps hitting. Last time it took me about two hours to just figure out, hey, just take off the end link and that one trailing arm and you'll be fine. Yeah, it was cold. I wasn't thinking right. But anyway, there you go. Uh, so this guy, I, did, I don't have a way to weigh it right now. This stuff is in the house. But stock is heavier. <laughs> so from uh, change your suspension alone, uh, just to co from a coilover uh, system, um it, it already saved you some weight i'm actually gonna go ahead and get my thing to to weigh that i'll be back all right so i got a little uh reader here so i'm gonna try and weigh this guy strap this son bitch on let's see So that is free floating at 6.9 so let's just say seven pounds uh, the top hat isn't on there but the top hat is aluminum and pretty light so um, yeah we're just gonna go with that center portion of balance is around here and this guy oh it's the same way the fucking liar nope let me just clear this out 
Ugh. So, almost 10 pounds, uh, and that's not including the, uh, this is including the top hat. The 7 pounds was not including the top hat, but that top hat, I'm sure, is not 3 pounds. So, um, yeah, it's lighter overall. Uh, maybe a few pounds, that's about it. Alright, so, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this damn thing in. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in. First, I'm going to get this bolt that goes down at the bottom. I'm going to just put that to the side that I know where it is. I'm going to get the uh, the bolt that holds the top hat in place. I'm going to put that over on my right side so I can get that ready. And I have my top hat. So I'm just going to push this guy down in first. So, in, fucking in. All right, so now that that's in, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this 12 millimeter bolt in. I'm just gonna put a little bit of anti seize on it. Um, it looks like there hasn't been any issues with it, but you never know. Just put a little bit on there. It doesn't hurt anything to put anti seize on this guy. Just a little drib drib. Put this guy in there. Remember when you're putting anti-seize the on, they say it's actually best to put it on and on the threads lightly, turn it into what you're turning into, then back out and then go back in. So that way it actually coats um, everything. If not, you won't actually get a nice coating on it. Next one is the big one down below holding it onto the knuckle. I'm just going to go ahead and put on a little bit on there slap this guy in place and then I'm gonna tighten up that guy I'm gonna go ahead and put the two 14s up top and um, uh, the suspension is good to go and then just gonna go ahead and take off the rear sway bar and I'll uh, show you that guy all right so the suspension is in I'm all done with that guy um, I just got to put on this arm right here clean that guy up put that guy on and then what I'll be putting on next is going to be the flying Miata rear sway bar. I had to get the bushings on those and uh, I'm just going to connect that. Uh, the left link is not going to be connected for right now. It's just going to be dangling and I'll connect that once the other suspension is on later on. Alrighty. Alright, so taking off the sway bar in the rear here. already took off that side. What it takes is a 13 millimeter, uh, although I'm using a a long deep one uh, it's actually not needed but uh, it's just a little bit easier actually um, so 13 mil to take this guy off I'm gonna take that guy off and then put on the bushings to put on the uh, bigger sway bar look how you need this alright got the little sway bar going right now you can see the little guy this is a stock guy this is a flying Miata uh, size of it is at least double so just in case I need a little bit more rear sway bar, for mainly for concrete, I can uh, go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this guy so you have your bushings. Uh, the bushings are different from the stock, stock ones. Uh, these guys even have some little grooves in here. So what I'm going to do is just put some of the provided lube from Flying Miata. <laughs> Alright, everybody loves to lube it up. In the rear. <laughs> that was nasty. Uh, could never have too much lube. Just, just put your finger in it and just keep working it, man. Just work it. Yeah. <laughs> A 
lube it up. This lube actually looks like the same lube, doesn't it? It's a little thicker though. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. Let's so get that guy on there. So you need to have the lube on here so that way this guy can move freely uh, under load. So that's what I gotta do to my WRX. All right, gonna throw this guy on and uh, yeah, good, good stuff. All right, so today's vlog is about to end. Um, already got the bigger sway bar in place. Uh, both rear suspensions are swapped out and I'm gonna ship those stuff out. Look at this SUV height though. Now, probably because I didn't install the suspension all that correctly. Um, don't always use my videos as guides because sometimes I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'm just trying to figure it out as I go along. So that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to FedEx, ship this stuff out, and uh, get it all rebuilt. All right, take care. God damn, owning a race car sucks sometimes.